Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones, so let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus had told you Caesar was ambitious. If it was so, it was a grievous fault and grievously had Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men, come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is an honorable man. He had brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransom did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When did the poor have cried, Caesar had wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the Lupricle, I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse, was this ambition. Yet Buddha says he was ambitious and sure he's an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Buddha spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without a cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish beast, and men have lost their reason? Bear with me. My heart is in coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me.